the death of YouTube, the birth of CorpTube, or YouTube rejects the you and commits to becoming the platform for corporate media. Hi, my name is Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and this is your iTalk for today, October 26th. That's a, that's a Thursday, October 26th, Thursday, 2017. So this iTalk is based on an article on iState.tv, and the link will be in the description as well as the comments below. I'll also post it in the top right corner. Toward, uh, actually, I'll do it right. The top right corner, you'll see uh, a link to the, to, the, to the article itself. And the article has some information that will be in this video, and I'm not going to cover everything in the article. And I'm definitely going to cover some stuff that are not that that is not in the article. But this the the article and this video came from the result of really an accident. I was simply looking for information about the Las Vegas shooting because he's just I'm not a conspiracy theorist I don't spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories I think that for me personally thinking about conspiracy theories for a long period of time is just it's it's not how I want to spend my time let's just say but still this, this one this this whole Las Vegas shooter thing is just really a lot of strange things so I'm like hey I want to I want to find out you know, am I crazy? What's what's going on here? So I just did a search for Las Vegas shooting, and I, well, I had I came up with some I think startling results. So I decided to create a little screenshot video, which I did earlier today, and I'm about ready to play for you the screenshot video. And on the other side of the screenshot video, I am also going to well, when I come back, I'm going to talk about what I think is going on with YouTube, but. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you something. You need, you, 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 if you like the channel, you 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 need to help us out. And what we need is subscribers and comments, shares, all that stuff. So this is just a little friendly reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to the iState YouTube channel. Hit that big red subscribe button right there. And after you hit the subscribe button, hit the big bell. So you get notices when we make our next video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type Las Vegas shooting. There we go. Las Vegas shooting. And look what comes up here. Top news. Fox News, New York Daily News, RT America, CBS, The Doctors. BBC News, CNN, look at all of them. Guardian Wire, ABC Inside Edition, Fox News, Channel 4, Fox. You think when people are searching for Las Vegas Shooter that what they want is this? Mainstream media with the mainstream media filters? None of which are asking terribly difficult questions. Oh, and there's Jimmy Kimmel there. 9.2 million views. Uh -huh. USA Today, ABC News, Fox Business, NBC. We're just going to keep on going and going and going. You get the idea there, don't you? And look, there it is. This is about mm, roughly uh, about 80, 81 on the search results. results. So let's, let's go back to the top here. Let's shrink this down. And let's, let's, uh, let's do the filter here. We're going to do the filter. And we're going to choose from view count. View count. Oh, there's Jimmy Kimmel's number one. Yeah. Well, we'll say more about that later. Look at that, though. In the main search, is there, let's, let's look at the top 10 searches. Now, in the first one, we'll have, uh, I didn't show you the other one, but uh, number 81 and number 96, you will see non-mainstream news results. So two 
in the top 100 when you don't put in this filter when you put in this filter look ben is number two adrian roach is number four uh, Guardian, uh, Yoxif, whatever that is, Yoxify, Linden Heights. So let's just look here in the top 10 I got. I'm not going to count AMTV. I don't know why that's at the top there. But look, even that. Alternative media, television, number one. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right starting with Dan Blitzen, that's number 10. So that's one, two, three four five five non-mainstream media results within the top 10 for the search las vegas shooting when you apply that filter so there you go now no doubt the video views of mainstream content creators were helped by youtube's what can only be described as an intentional promotion. They, 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 that YouTube has decided that they will make sure that when it comes to a hot news type, type, uh, a hot news item, hot news search term, if you will, they're going to make sure that it's mainstream news media that shows up. So of course, they're already going to have a bit of an advantage. They're going to get more views because they're showing up in the searches. Now, in addition to that, however, you'll notice that 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 Jimmy Kimmel video was number one with nine point whatever million views. Uh, this is the this is that I, we've talked about it in past videos. That anti-human, anti-liberty, anti-gun nonsense rant, which is at number one when you do the search for the video. Uh, the view counts and the reason it's number one though well it showed up as number one for top trending now when it showed up as number one at the time it was nowhere near the top trending but youtube decided to put it at number one gee i wonder why that was so uh what's more is as many content creators have pointed out uh jimmy kimmel's highly politicized video a video in which at one point he, he basically called all gun supporters pretty much murders by murderers by proxy. You all have blood on your hands. I mean, that's freaking hate speech. You know, if I if I'm going to decide what hate speech is, if I'm Daddy Gov and I get to decide what hate speech is, or if I'm Mr. You know, college president deciding what hate speech is whatever the case might be uh going around and calling people who support guns murderers and that they have blood on their hands because there was a shooting with guns yeah i, I would call that hate speech pretty much call that a hate, hate speech now that video is monetized they're making money you you try to create a video on youtube in which you use the topic las vegas shooter and i guarantee you that video will not be monetized. I can guarantee you this video will will not be monetized. Even though the title is is not going to be Las Vegas Shooter, the, the 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 notes, the transcripts, whatever they're going to show that term Las Vegas Shooter. So I can guarantee you that my video will not be monetized. It will be deemed inappropriate for advertisers. But Jimmy Kimmel can create a video in which he calls people who support guns basically murderers and that's okay with the advertisers now youtube is trying to prevent the uh, spreading of conspiracies conspiracy theories fake news that's that's ostensibly uh what what it's saying so before i get accused of spreading fake news i i just i just want to share a little bit from an article in usa today which is from October 5th, 2017. I'm going to read from the article itself. YouTube has changed its powerful search algorithm to promote videos from more mainstream news outlets and search results after people looking for details on the Las Vegas shooting were served up conspiracy theories and misinformation. And uh, you can go to the link for my article and read a little bit more that I excerpted excerpted from that uh 
from that article. And so, so here, what you have is YouTube is telling its viewers, it's, it's looking at you and it's saying to you, listen, man, we know more than you do what it is that you should be seeing. So instead of producing a search engine that actually produces the kind of results that are indicative of what people are really looking for, we're going to hand curate those results. We want to make sure that you're not getting the kind of information that is too dangerous for you. So when you look for a hot news item, what you're going to find is mainstream news. You're not going to find Sargon of Akkad. You're not going to find ContraPoints. You're not going to find Tim Pool. And you're certainly not going to find InfoWars. No, 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 no. YouTube is, is, is saying to you, listen, man, when it comes to hot news items, man, we know better than you the kind of information that, that you should be receiving. So you also have uh, YouTube is essentially what, what, what they're doing here is they're, they're kind of telling the, the non-mainstream media creator, creators, that's, that's people like me, they're saying, wait, hey, listen, when it, when it comes to major news stories, dudes, we're going to, first off, we're going to demonetize your videos. Uh, second off, we're going to make sure that you don't show up in the hot search terms. We're pretty much telling our non-mainstream media creators on YouTube, stop making videos about hot news items. Stop talking about the, the hot items of the day. Whatever it is, especially breaking news, stop to stop it because we will not reward you for it. Instead, we are going to reward mainstream news. So to put it more simply... As I say, and this is, I'm, uh, I'm going back to the article on iState.tv, YouTube has decided to take the U out of YouTube and replace it with Corp as incorporation. The entities that are increasingly finding a significant advantage on the YouTube platform are corporations. Now, I want you to remember, folks, where it is that YouTube comes from. YouTube... It, 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 it's YouTube. Uh, it's it's about you. And by you, it's not a corporation. YouTube was 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 the the counter to this this the 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 gateway keepers of you know before YouTube, before the internet, where information that that reached a wide audience it was, it was it had a very limited path that it could follow to get to a wide audience and and along the way there are these gatekeepers gatekeepers who were basically cor corporate corporate employees or corporate owners whatever the case might be and youtube and other outlets like it they 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 bypass that and now you could go directly to the people you could put your stuff out there and the only filters were essentially if you had enough people that liked your content if you didn't well then you're not going to get a great audience if you do then you're going to build up your audience, whatever it is, whether you're making cat videos, whether you're making uh, gamer videos, uh, whether you're making conspiracy theory videos, whatever it is that you're doing, the only real filter is, does the audience like it? And now YouTube is looking back and they're not making money and they haven't made money since they started. And so there, this is the, the, the part where I'm going to talk briefly about What's going on with YouTube? Why is it that YouTube is switching gears? There are two possibilities. And my theory is that it's a combination of the two possibilities. I can't tell you for sure, okay, which is which is the more predominant uh, uh, factor. Is it on one side you have the 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 neoliberal tactic, which I don't know, maybe stop calling it neoliberals because it's like I don't know, 50 years old, however old it is, uh, the neoliberal tactic where instead of uh, instead of affecting social engineering through regulations and laws, you use the power of the marketplace to change to 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 do your social engineering. And so YouTube at this point 
based on what I'm seeing, I mean, the very fact that they decided there was there was no market reason to decide to 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 hand pick Jimmy Kimmel's anti liberty, anti gun, anti human. Uh, hate speech rant against people who dare believe that they had a right to defend themselves and have the tools to do so. They handpicked that video to be the top trending video when it was nowhere near top trending video at the point. They were essentially marketing that video. They wanted you to see that, that they wanted that video to affect you. They were using their platform to try to socially engineer their market to hate guns. That's what they decided. So it's clear that YouTube is more than willing to use its platform for social engineering reasons and not simply uh, marketing reasons. But this shift towards the corporate, I'm not 100% sure that this is all about social engineering. I'm, I, I believe it's, it's, it's definitely a factor, though. I believe that at some level that YouTube is looking around and I, who's paying the bills for the most part for YouTube? Is it the small advertisers? From what I've when I've heard from other YouTubers that have looked into this, that it's a uh, it's a lot more uh, lion, the lion's share of their revenue comes from very large uh, advertisers corporate advertisers they're spending millions upon millions and small advertisers collectively don't don't equal them don't even come close to equaling them so so they're catering to their their customers that makes sense they're catering to their customers but the problem is what their customers if it's if it's totally what the customer wants if what the customer is telling youtube is it wants youtube to become corp tube then what's happening is YouTube, let's just call them CorpTube now at this point. CorpTube is is essentially deciding to to no longer provide a product uh, or, or a, a service, if you will, that creates their product. Their product is an audience. That is YouTube's product. It's an audience. The way the factory that is used to build that product, the audience, is the platform that allows people to create content that other people will watch. Well, CorpTube, previously YouTube, it built an audience around this idea of YouTube. It built this audience, this this product that it can now sell to advertisers, it built it around the idea that you can create the content and the only filter on that content, well, within reason. I mean, I'm not saying you should have videos of people committing suicide on YouTube, but uh, whatever reason is, uh, certainly way beyond the, the way that YouTube is now uh, hindering uh, expression on its own platform. Uh, now it's it's essentially saying we're going to totally cater to the customer when the customer is the one providing the money. I understand that, but the customer is buying a product. And that product is the audience. So if they have on one hand the customer saying, I want to buy a product and that product is an audience and the audience that I want to buy is an audience that's watching corporate stuff, multi, you know, mainstream media stuff if that's what the corporate if, if that's what these corporations want that are buying the ads on youtube then they're in the wrong place because that's not what youtube is although that's what youtube is trying to become apparently now i believe that youtube's audience over the next couple of years is going to significantly diminish I, I do believe that there probably is an audience for people who really that, that you know if YouTube becomes corporate tube corp tube I mean they have YouTube TV I subscribe to YouTube TV which I will during the football season but when the football season's over hey YouTube TV you out of here I only have you so I can watch my footballs and then I'm done because I don't I don't do cable news I don't do cable TV at all I hardly ever watch any kind of TV really other than sports. <laughs> But mostly I watch videos, and the videos I watch are not, for the most part, overwhelmingly, they come from independent content creators. Very, I, There's very few content, there's very little content that I watch that comes from 
corporate media. So, so they have this, they have this disconnect here. They're going to end up with a much smaller audience, and that means that the corporations that they're chasing after, guess what? They're still going to lose ad revenue. Even if the corporations are, okay, great, we're fine, we'll come back. They're going to pay a lot less money, a lot less money, because they're not going to have the audience. Instead, what's going to happen, what's already happening is people are going to find platforms where they can, they can do and be what YouTube used to allow them to do and to be. Original content creators with diverse thoughts and opinions that often were well outside the bounds of what the gatekeepers of, of information would want to pass to larger audiences. So YouTube's moves... Well, it's an advantage to things like DTube, and it's an advantage to things like uh, uh, BitChute. By the way, I am on DTube, and I am on BitChute. If you go to that article, you'll find a link to both of my channels on both DTube and BitChute. And I will be looking to join more video platforms as well. And whatever video platforms take off and develop an audience, and I'm sure one or more of them will begin to take off, then I'll start to produce more content there. Whatever the case may be, what I can tell you is this. If you have a big enough audience, there's money to be made. So if you can't make your money on YouTube, What's going to happen is these big YouTube, especially the really big YouTube content creators, already have this huge audience. Huge audiences that will go with them. I mean, maybe, maybe not all of them will go with them, but enough will go with them that they will, wherever platforms they choose to go to, there will be monetization. I, I, I don't know all the ways that you're going to be able to monetize, but there will be. And content creators will, will, will figure out a way, I, I believe, to make money. And so YouTube... Keep doing what you're doing because you're opening up the door for a lot more competition. You, you created a market. You created this wonderful market. And now you're stepping away from it. You're leaving that market. But that market that you created, it's not going to die. <laughs> it's, it's, other people are going to fill the void that you are fast leaving behind so i predict that within five years i do believe that youtube will continue to exist but it, within five years and one of the reasons that youtube may exist may actually be that youtube may end up be like uh, vox's vox gets millions upon millions of dollars you know nbc has donated or uh, donated uh the, vox is subsidized no nobody very very few people really like vox vox is idiotic it's uh it's it 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 plays itself off as being neutral and it's it's just totally hard state von state based left propaganda nothing more vox would not exist vox is the amount of money that they put into their videos and they pay their staff they could never do it based on audience alone so it could come to a point where YouTube ends up being simply subsidized. Like much of what, what, what you see in a lot of news media today and news media, it's hard to make money in news media. A lot of it is subsidized by billionaires. And that's maybe where YouTube is headed. And YouTube will continue to exist if that's the case. If that's not the case, YouTube is, is going to be significantly less version of itself and it's going to be a place where you're not going to go to youtube when you really want to do some serious research or you really want to get information that is way beyond what what mainstream thought will accept you're not going to go to youtube anymore you're going to go to dtube or BitChute or one of these other platforms that are rising and i think on that note I'm going to go and end this I talk. It went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, such is <laughs> such is what it is. My name is Paul Gordon, and this has been your I Talk of the Day for iState.tv. Don't forget, if you like what we do, go to our YouTube channel right here, youtube.com slash iState, and hit that big red subscribe button. Like that, 
And then after you hit the YouTube red subscribe button, hit that bell. Get notified about every new video just like that. And then you see that and you know that you are subscribed and you will be notified.